Hey, it's Lou. We have a little bit different project on our hands today. Uh, I got this from a father-in-law. This is a Magnavox 39-inch television. Uh, got the original remote. He told me that it works sometimes, and sometimes it doesn't. It will not turn on. The red standby light slash power light is always on when it doesn't work. So when it's off, it's always turned on, of course. And I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to push the power button. It's supposed to blink red, and then it will turn on. No response. We'll try the remote. Remote works. It's the remote working. All right, if I unplug it and plug it back in, it will work. But if you let it sit, plugged in, watch it for a little while, turn it off, and then try to turn it back on, it will not work again. So I believe I found a fix for it. I ordered the part, and you're gonna come with me and disassemble, remove the old part, resolder on the new part, test it, and we'll be good to go. We have the board taken out. We are ready to install a new EEPROM into this board. And uh, how we're gonna do that is we're gonna desolder the old one and we're gonna put in the new one. One thing you always need to make sure of when you pull out any type of chip or IC integrated circuit, is make sure you always know the rotation of it. So I always make a little print how the board looks, inputs, and the chip sits about right in the middle. It's right here. and has a little dot on it. So I just make a little diagram so I know I don't put that in backwards because that chip, if it is put in the wrong direction, it will probably blow the board out. So, here's the chip, the integrated circuit, which is the EEPROM for this television. All right, how we do this is we are going to use my soldering iron. Alright, now that we have all of the solder, basically I added a little bit of solder on each pad so it's ready to install. Check the orientation. 
orientation of it is in the bottom left is our identifier here. We're going to lay the chip back onto the board. It has to be laying pretty much perfect. And I'm just going to heat up one pin on the one side just to see it if it lined up. Okay, I got to move it over just a hair. As you can see, the integrated circuit here, the EEPROM, is a little bit crooked. I'm going to move it over just a hair. There we go. That's perfect. Now that we have that lined up, as I solder each pin, I'm heating up each pin one at a time. Perfect. When you heat up the pin, it gets hot melts the solder and it creates that link from the leg down to the, the down to the board so that is complete all right i am ready to reinstall and we will test it right away hold on All right, I just got putting everything back together on this and we're gonna give it a try. Get, to, get it all set up here for you. Here's the televisions up. We're gonna plug it in. Red light is on, oh, it already turned on by itself. Bingo. Let me hit the menu button. Oh, this is perfect. We are still working good, and this is awesome. Now turn it off. Turn it back on. That is perfect. So, uh, we replaced the EEPROM on the main board, which fixed our problem. Um, I'm going to play with it for our next couple days, and I'll leave some feedback at the end of the video, so make sure it still keeps on working. Uh, have a great day, and if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and also hit the notification bell. Thank you.